Good morning my lovers, I'm back out on the fields and it is a gorgeous day today. A bit frosty this morning, but it is lovely and warm. I'll be taking this off in a minute. Got a banging signal down here. Oh, I've got it back on the gold settings. Right in the middle of the hole. Oh, what's that there? Uh, ooh, don't know. It looks oldish. I think it's a pewter spoon handle. Yeah, a bit of fragment of a pewter spoon handle. Well, I haven't found any gold yet, but I've just found a lovely little medieval relic. A lovely little relic. This was giving me a pretty iffy signal. It might have been near a piece of iron. A beehive thimble. An open top one, I think. An open top thimble. Look at that. That's a corker. I don't think I've ever found one of these before. Now, I'm not sure it's broken. I think it's actually shaped that way. Look at that, that's in pretty good condition. That's probably five, six hundred years old. There we go. I'm liking this channel one. Look at this here, right? I'm going to show you something here. Iron? A better signal. Now they tell us that the CTX is an ancient machine and no good for separation. Well, if I press that one there and we go on this one, recovery fast is turned off. Oh, this could be gold. 1230-ish. Either that or a pesky tubus moors. You've got to dig them pesky tubus mooses. Oh, it's right here. Might be a bit deep for a tubus moos. Normally shallowish. And do you know where they come from? They, the farmer, when he has problems with his cows, the vet turns up at the, at the stables, not the stables, at the, <laughs> at the barns that the cows are in. And that's where he administers the uh, stuff and then he drops the tube in the, in, the, in the grass and the poo and the hay and all that. And then when the farmer does his muck spreading, that's how they end up in the fields. He doesn't drop them in the fields on purpose, if you th a lot of people might think they do. What's that there? <gasps> Is it a part of a spoon? Could be part of an ancient spoon. Let's just make sure that's it. Oh, bits. Just bits. Yeah, they just don't just drop them in the fields just to annoy metal detectorists. No, they are administered in the sheds where they keep the cows when they're ill. Because, you know, face it, they face facts. When a cow is a bit ill, the farmer's going to bring it indoors, isn't he? Yeah, it's a bit of a spoon. Oh, I just made a bit of a mess here. I was looking for something and I thought, oh, it's a bit of foil. It's got a very foily sound. And it ain't a bit of foil. It's not. I'll show you what it is. It's a Amazing, I've never found one so small. Look, look at the size of it. There's my little finger. It is a Chinese coin. It's a Chinese coin. It looks like it might have been on a pendant. You can see the uh, hieroglyphics, for want of a better word. 
in the fort, you know, above the square bits and to the side. Well, I'm going to clean that up and I'll get back to you. But it's tiny. Could have sworn this was going to be foil. I've never found one so small. I didn't even know they made them that's that size. It's minute. Right, there it is. So it's a bit ropey, but you can just about see the little symbols or whatever they're called. But it looks like it was mounted there, look. And on this side, it's got some other stuff going on. I gave it a good scrub with the tough brush. And I think it's made of pewter or some sort of material like that. But yeah, that is one small Chinese coin. Oh, I have just found something only mudlarkers normally find. <laughs> I just turned the clot over and I spotted it. I thought it was a funny shaped rock. Can you see it? Can you see it? What's that there? Oh my God. Oh my God. That's not what I was looking at. That's what I was looking at. That's a clay pipe. But this could be really epic. This could be seriously epic. If I think is what it, what it is. I think it might be. Seriously epic! Woohoo! Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, you can see the ripples where it's bust there, look. Wow! This is the tip of a polished hand axe. Prehistoric hand axe. This is thousands of years old. Wow, that's the best find this year. Woohoo! It's a pity it's not complete, but you can see the ripples where it's bust, look. The wooden handle would have been here, and obviously they've whacked something and it's sheared. But that is the find of the year. Oh, and then I was just looking down the hole for me, me pipe. Where's me pipe gone? Oh, I've forgotten about me pipe. Oh, wow, this is epic. Look at the, what it's made of, look. It's a conglomerate, look. Oh, oh me pipe's all broken. But it's a, it's a, a, a newish one. I must, no, it's old brakes, look. There's mud in between. I've also got a bit of pottery down the hole. That could be medieval. But who cares, I've just find, found the find of the year. Oh, look at that, I've just given it a bit of a little light wash. Oh, look at the stone. I don't know what it's made of. Um, oh, what's that stone called? Not flint. There's another one. There's another one, I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, chert. It might be made of chert. Oh. It's now the next day, my lovers, and I've got some news. It is, in fact, a Neolithic polished stone axe head, and it's around 4,500 BC. So around 6,000 years old. Woohoo!